Ooh, a game against Whitebeard. Okay. Interesting. I don't mind this starting hand. He did choose to go second. Hmm. Uh, I am going to mulligan. I am going to mulligan. Um, I will end turn. Oh, shoot. You know what? Funny enough, I actually wouldn't have mind using this. Uh, oh, he is running the Straw Hat engine. Okay. So... We have a couple options. We could do Monkey D Garp, Swing for Six with Smoker, or Put Down Three Cost Smoker. Uh, I'm going to go with Three Cost Smoker, just because I want to have that on the field while I've got Nami, so I can get some value out of it. And I'll take that first hit. We'll pick up a 2K Sengoku. Four cost Luffy. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. So I think what I'm going to do here is I'm going to bring Nami down, swing for six at life, and yep, I'll swing for seven at life. Let's see, we got him to counter out twice, and I will play Borsalino. Past turn, but we got him to burn a Brook and a Nami, so not feeling terrible about that. I will take the life again, huge pickup. Impact Wave will get rid of Luffy. He should always swing with that first, but unfortunate mistake on his part. I'll block and send Goku up to eight for the Borsalino. Not too shabby. <clears throat> Love having this Nami on field. Probably going to keep her on field the like entire game because it is such a huge dub for me. But uh, this is what we're going to do. I'm going to bait out some cards from his hand here. I'm going to swing for six, swing for seven, probably bait out a 1K and a 2K uh, just for these. And then I will Sakazuki and get rid of the Luffy. That way I'm extracting as much value as possible out of that play. And yeah, we'll just knock out Luffy. Feels good, man. Got him to burn a couple of counters as well, which is kind of huge. Huh, he's going to go for seven here at Smoker. Hmm. I could Borsalino in 2k counter, but he has seven Dawn left, so there's probably another Rush Luffy or a Zoro or something. Uh, yeah, I'll let it go. I'll let it go. It's... It's a really valuable card, but I'm, I'm not really feeling going down to absolutely nothing in hand for trying to protect that. So, Impact Wave. Nice pickup. Uh, very nice pickup, but what do we want to do here? What is the goal? Hmm. I'm actually thinking of not playing anything from hand. I could potentially... No, no, I couldn't. Yeah, I could, I could Toshigi and KO the King's Do. It's probably not a terrible idea. And I'd still have enough left over for Impact Wave. Um, so let's do... Let's do this. That would be 3-3. Three, three. But then I'm trashing a card. Ah, I borderline don't really care that it's up right now. Um... Let's do a swing for nine. See what he does. See if we can bait out the radical beam or potentially a guard point into uh, another counter. He's going to radical beam. That's huge. I am happy about that. So let's go for... Let's go for a big swing and we'll just save two here. Let's go for 11. Probably take the life. Yep, huge. All right, and now we've basically set ourselves up for a good potential of lethal next turn. Um, yeah, he's going to go seven at life. I will take big uh, big 2k counter pickup right there. Newgate. Mm. Unfortunate. Do I impact wave or do I take the life? I feel as though I probably should counter out of this. So I'm going to go to Shigi Garp here. Yeah, I don't really see myself being able to kill the new gate. Um, I could be wrong, but... 
Actually, interestingly enough, picking up the Suru, if I had if I had not gotten rid of the uh, the other Tashigi, I would not. I would have had to either way. I, I would have potentially had enough to <laughs> to bring him down into KO range for Kobe. But uh, do we go for life here? I feel as though the the correct choice is to probably not, because he's at uh, he's at eight. <clears throat> He's at eight. He's got one Dawn active, so either another Radical Beam or another Guard Point. Um, killing King's Dew would feel pretty fucking good. Eesh. I don't know. Let's go... Let's try something. Let's go 10 at life. See what he does. See if he Guard Points. See if he Radical Beams. Might be... Okay, Otama into that. Interesting. Okay, so here's what I'm thinking then. If I go 11 here, I'm at least forcing... I'm at least forcing him to use Radical Beam, which he won't have next turn. Okay, so he is going to let that go. Yep. So he won't have uh, King's Dew at least. He will have Radical Beam. I'm alright with that. I'm alright with that. His draw power is looking pretty, pretty bleak right now. So... Ooh, ooh, that's interesting. That's a really, really interesting choice. So he's saving nine. It makes me feel like he's going to play another new gate, which makes me want to save this Sakazuki really badly. So I am going to impact wave, choose no targets into a Kobe and save it. Because if he does throw down another new gate right here, which I think he really wants to, but now he's like, oh, damn okay okay yeah he's all right so we're gonna go we're gonna go pretty uh pretty hard and defend the sakazuki here i'm totally fine with that and he's gonna play another nami Ooh, does he pick up oh he picks up another radical beam oh that's unfortunate that's a bit bit unfortunate oh well he is gonna have to take this life so two radical beams in hand Oh boy. I don't think. Let's see. Two radical beams in hand. We'll assume two 2k counters, maybe 1k, and a white beard. So if I go for 10, that would be 3 here. 6 would be 13. I think I still win. If I just go for 10 at life, force him to Radical Beam and use some form of counter. He would have to have the perfect hand to stop this. Like quite literally the perfect hand to stop both of these swings. Yep, it's about what I expected. And then we'll go 13 at face. Let's see. You have to have Radical Beam and two 2k. Oh my goodness. All right. That was that was a bit close. GG. GG, my friend. Oh, he disconnected. But as you can see, even the Strawbeard deck, uh, this Smoker deck can play really well against. It thrives more against the Whitebeard engine, but... The, the Strawbeard engine is definitely manageable with this deck. Um, it will come down to some pretty interesting calculations, though. You got to really play around, you know, what your opponent's going to have. Try to get and extract the most value out of your cards. Like when I played Sakazuki, I got so much value out of killing that five cost Luffy. Uh, it was it felt really good. So, and keep those Namis alive, keep those, uh, you know, uh, one costs alive. When they put those on the field, it is just free for you. You are absolutely getting so much out of it. But hope you guys enjoy. And uh, I'll have a couple more matchups coming up in the future. So, peace.